everyone. Thanks again for joining us for our Brain Booster this week. My name is Shannon Kennedy and I'm a CSM here at VistaView Solutions. Our Brain Booster, Booster video this week will be concentrating on SAP Business One and authorizations available. As you can see in my screen here, I'm in my standard SAP Business One version 10 system. I'm going to open up my main menu here. And the first thing I'm going to do is notice my admin option. That's my first option on my main menu. And that's going to hold all of the information for your configurations in SAP in regard to setting up users, some company information and setup and configurations, as well as the authorizations for each user. Now, in SAP Business One, you have the option of a few different user types. They include your pro users, limited users, and indirect users. Your pro users have the option to have access across the system to almost everything. You can, of course, limit them one by one, but generally speaking, a pro user will be able to access and open and perform any task in your business one system. On the other hand, a user that's limited has an option to be a limited financial, a limited logistics user, and a limited CRM user. These limited users by default will have access to certain parts of the system that correspond to the type of license. So CRM is your customer relations management, Financials is obviously your financials information inside of SAP, and Logistics has more access to things like inventory movements. Your indirect users will almost always only have access to information pertaining to an add-on that you have linked in SAP Business One. So now what we're going to take a look at, however, is being able to further authorize those specific users to either read, write, or have no access at all to see certain options inside of SAP Business One. So underneath our admin menu here, if we look in our setup and general, we'll see that this is where we're able to set up new users inside of SAP, and those new users are linked to the licenses I mentioned. Now, once you have those users set up and a license assigned, inside of your system initialization, you have authorizations here. There's a few different types of authorizations that you have the ability to use inside of B1, and those include your general authorizations, which is going in and manually giving access to a user based upon a certain part of the system. Your additional authorizations creator allows you to create additional authorizations that you can assign to a group of users or multiple users without having to manually go in and update those authorizations with the addition of new users who will be doing those same tasks inside of SAP Business One. So let's go into general authorizations first. Inside of your general authorizations, you'll see a list of all of your available users that you have inside of SAP Business One here. And if we click on one of our users, we'll see that the, all of the available authorizations that that user has will be shown on the screen here. This is, of course, taking into account that certain things are related to license-based information in SAP. So if our user, Christine, is set with a limited logistics user, no matter what the authorization is that I update here, certain aspects of the system will not be available to her. However, if she has a pro user, because you need her to have various access in the system that one of your limited license would not allow her to access, we would simply be able to come into our authorizations here and then decrease the amount of information that Christine can see while still utilizing a pro user. So for this example, we would want to update sales. Maybe we need Christine to have all of the options available to look at all of our inventory, we need her to be able to run all of our reports. We need her to be able to create queries and work with the AP side of our system. But she's not going to need to work with certain SAP AR factors. She may still need access to reporting, which is great. And we can do that via our sales report option here. We can simply update her here to full authorization, as you see that she is. Now, we may never want her to make a sales quote, a sales order, or an AR invoice specifically. Now, in order to eliminate that option from her available user, we would simply highlight our sales quote and our sales order, which is our top two options here. And we're going to do read only for both of those options. This enables her to look at sales orders. If she's running a sales report, she may want to drill into a sales order to get more information, but she will not be able to update or create a sales order or a sales quote. 
And you can do that for every one of your users inside of SAP Business One. Another option that you have inside of your authorization screens here, which is a nice shortcut if you're adding an additional user to the system that you may want to mimic a specific user, you're able to use the copy authorizations button here. This will allow you to select the users in which to copy authorizations to your new user. So if we had another user coming in that we wanted to have the exact same authorizations as Christine, we would simply go through our list here. We would find Christine's information. We would click on her user and be able to copy those authorizations to that new user all at one time in bulk, which can save you an enormous amount of time from going through all of your available authorizations, especially when you need that user to be able to access B1 immediately. You also have the option to click full authorization to update a user. In Christine's sense, perhaps she got a promotion internally and now she needs access to every aspect of the system, but we've gone in and we've updated various authorizations. All we'd have to do is click full authorizations and it would automatically update her to a pro super user, giving her all of the authorizations in the whole system that are related to a pro user. Then we would simply click save and it would update this user's information. In the same respect, we may want someone new in the company to only have read access while they're training in their department to use SAP Business One. In that case, we could simply use the read only option and it would update some of our authorizations to read only as you see here and also no authorizations for certain parts of the system that their license does not allow them to have access to, no matter what kind of authorization they have. You also have the option, of course, to do no authorization, which will allow you to update a specific user to no authorization across the board in any of your SAP Business One system information. This could be used in circumstances where you have a user that may need to only utilize an SAP Business One add-on, but you don't have an available indirect license, but you happen to have an available limited license. So you'll simply assign that limited license instead of purchasing a new indirect license, and you'd simply click no authorizations. That would not allow them to have any authorizations in SAP, but you could allow them to use SAP add-ons outside of the system. Next, we have a few options in our authorization screen as well that allow certain limitations to be put per user in regards to discounts. These discounts can be in regards to sales document, purchase documents, those are your quotes and your orders, as well as your invoices. And you can also give them a max discount, generally speaking. If you enter in a max discount in the general option, but nothing in your sales and purchasing, it will use that general discount system-wide. That means sales and purchasing. You also have the option to add a max cash amount for incoming payments. This will limit the amount in total of a cash payment that that user can enter for an incoming payment. Next, we're going to go to our group tab here. You have some default groups in SAP Business One that include finance, sales, purchasing, inventory, management, and of course, you can always add new groups as you see fit. Adding a specific user to this, to this group will override the individual user authorizations and match the authorizations given to your group here. This is exceptionally convenient when you're working within a larger company that has multiple people within each department. Because then when you get new users or you update users' information in the system, you can simply assign them to a group and not have to do anything further for their authorizations. You also have the options in your groups for full, read-only, and no authorization as well. As you can see here, I've added a test one, one, two, three. This will allow me to add new users to group one, two, three, and they'll have the exact authorizations that I have set in my screen here. Saving us just even a bit more time in, in regard to setting up authorizations for users inside your system. I'm going to update that information here just to save my updates inside of our authorization screen. And now we'll take a quick look at our additional authorizations creator. Inside your additional authorizations creator, you have the, the option to add an authorization ID 
and then filter through all of the options here to give additional authorizations for your users. The ones that you see here are specifically related to our resolve add-on in SAP Business One. This allows us to create additional authorizations that specifically pertain to that add-on, which can be used inside of SAP Business One by your users. We're able to limit which modules they can use and which parts of each module they can use, utilizing your standard SAP authorizations per user. You can also do this with various other parts of the system. And again, this is just another tool that enables you to quickly authorize and add additional authorizations so you can further limit or increase the authorizations per your users in SAP Business One. Once I've added additional authorizations there, if I go back into my general authorization screens, you'll actually be able to see those additional authorizations directly here in your screen. So once you've added them, you can then manage all of your users' authorizations directly from your authorization screens in standard SAP. So now if I take a look again at Christine, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'll see something called user authorization. These are where your additional user authorizations are housed. So you see all of my additional add-on authorizations here, and you'll see all of the options that she has access to or does not have access to. And we can update all of these manually, depending on the need that we have for Christine in the company. All of your users have that option once you've created your additional authorizations, and you can set them all again to read only, no authorization, or you'll have full authorization to these modules specifically. And you can do that with many different things in SAP Business One, Resolve being just one of the many options. Thank you for joining us for this week's Brain Booster regarding SAP Business One authorizations. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to your SAP Business One partner or directly here to us at VistaView Solutions, and we can help answer any of your questions or concerns. Have a great day.